During section two, we discussed cognitive biases and the potential first step debiasing strategy of familiarizing yourself with cognitive biases. We've also discussed ruling out worst case scenarios and asking, what else could this be? Today, we want to take a deeper dive into our crisis resource management principle, which is also an effective cognitive biasing technique, calling for help early. Calling for help early is an important but often missed principle of crisis resource management. And so we'd like to spend some time addressing when to call for help to make your team stronger. We often don't call for help because of fears of criticism among juniors or incapability among seniors. With the potential of a high cognitive burden in a state of chaos, we need to call for help as a debiasing strategy so that we can see the elephant in the room. Researchers at MIT found that successful teams are constantly exploring outside the team and bringing back new information. In other words, they call for help. Communication confined to only the team is not the same as exploring outside the team. A team that's willing to engage with outside members is more likely to ask for help and gain fresh perspectives that may be missing if we're hungry, angry, late, tired, or stressed, or have a cognitive bias. During a crisis, we want to encourage exploration to learn. Part of good teamwork is bringing in an expert. These experts have collected experiences that can help us make a decision to avoid an error we may be making. 